Uh, it's one thing to appoint ministers and another thing is the assignment of ministerial responsibilities. Who are the people to watch out for in President Inubu's 45-man cabinet? Yes, there are a number of them to watch out for. There are some ministries that by nature... ...in the news. Uh, the Ministry of... Uh, uh education for example would always be in the news because of the usual troubles here and there that um, happen as to strike um, the rest of them so whoever is occupying the ministry of information i mean of education is someone uh, that uh, would regularly be in the news uh, because of the issues in that uh, uh, sector and then um, I think the president found the right person for that job, uh, Professor Mama Antahir. Professor Mama Antahir um, had worked as an academic. The uh, University of Maiduguri was dean of student affairs. He was head of the department. He taught law at the school. Um, he was in the law school as deputy director general and later as director general and then became VC at Bayes uh, University, which is owned uh, by the vice presidential candidate of the Labour Party. So I think the president uh, and his people um, made a statement, statement appointment by going to pick someone um, on the staff of um, a rival ticket, you know. So, but he has the experience to get the job done. So, all eyes will be on him. And the Minister of Agri, you look at Minister of Agri, we have um, Abaka Kiari. Abaka Kiari will have his job cut out for him because this government wants to do a lot of things in the area of uh, agriculture and the uh, food security. They've already uh, made up their minds that they are going to plant more than 50,000 hectares of uh, um, uh, crops and all that. So he has a job cut out for him. And talking about food security, he also knows that um, he has to uh, be up and doing. Then big presidents of the world go and hold the uh, meetings to them. It's a very, in terms of the scenic beauty, it is just a fantastic place. There are very few places that you can say uh, actually more beautiful than uh, than uh, Obudu, except perhaps uh, Mambila, because Mambila is colder. Mambila has similar uh, landscape, very beautiful place. So he needs to, she needs to uh, identify those stories, uh, destinations, um, and uh, try to see how Nigeria can really make a lot of money from them. I keep talking about Dubai, for example, and the UAE. They have oil in the UAE, but they've chosen to develop Dubai, you know, make it uh, uh, number one uh, tourist destination in the world. You know? They sat down to do this, and uh, they are achieving their aims, and they are making so much money. From tourism, so there are many places across Nigeria, you know, that we are just wasting them. Look at um, uh, Perenrua, for example, in uh, in uh, Nasarawa State. That's a waterfall. Uh, we have waterfalls in the southwest as well. We have a uh, uh, boat regatta in uh, Bayesa, very colorful event. We have um, even um, uh, the uh, Arugungu Fishing Festival. So many tourist uh, resorts, so many tourist, tourist destinations that we can improve in our country and earn us good money from tourism. So I think she, she, she's one minister to watch.